us a bit about the single. Uh, the single was <clears throat> created in L.A. Um, musicians that have played with me over the course of the last 22 years. Um, we went to the studio. They laid down a few tracks. It was uh, the drummer, keyboardist, and guitarist slash bassist. And I co-produced it with the drummer and the bassist guitarist, whose name is Jairus Mosey. The drummer's name is D'Lo. Yeah. And came to the studio. They laid down a few different vibes. And I went back in the studio a few days later and sifted through the ideas and stuff that were laid. And on this particular day, I chose what inevitably has become sent from heaven. And I wrote the song and sang it and then had sent the basic stuff that I laid down to this cat in Chicago named Sam Trump, who is also a singer, but this collaboration with him, he laid and arranged the horns and placed the horn solo. So sent it to him, and when he sent it back to me, after I had given him a few notes of what I wanted him to do, essentially he sent it back and it was perfect, and it just completely made the song perfect, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Once once I heard the horns and the arrangement, it was just so beautiful and very much a tribute to the music that I grew up listening to, the artist and caliber of musician and songwriter and producer who have influenced what I've done over the years. So um, as far as the style of song, it was not intentional to like record you know a song that was traditional r&b type soul music it just mm -hmm. that was one of the tracks that they laid down one of the vibes and i just wrote to it but i'm happy to know that it resonates with people album heroes and gods which is coming out man what can you tell us about the album the album is very much like my previous ones in that it's broad in the scope of exploring different genres, you know what I'm saying? Like, over the course of my career, I have tapped into different vibes, you know. I've never been one to box myself into one genre, even if that genre was where people were introduced to me, where people mm -hmm. fell in love with what I do, where people wish I would have stayed, all that, like, I feel that, but I got to go where I need to go. So I feel people who have fully supported my craft and have been aware of every album that I have released and the journey, they are aware that it's going to be a mixed bag. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right. So this album is in the same tradition of those previous records. Um, this album is as my others always rooted in love and the growth from experiences with love and relationship with people, the uh, desire that I have always had to be progressive, not only musically, but in my beliefs, and articulating through song what that transformative uh, growth has been for me and in terms of spirituality as well. Um, and really being able to express the importance of owning one's power, um, being able to identify the power in others, you know, and understanding that we are all a reflection of one another, particularly when we do reach certain levels of transcendence and growth, people come in our lives to mirror that, you know, and assist us to grow further. 
And that's what this album is about. We got to bring up the record that you did for Brandy Baby, which is a classic um, mm-hmm. in the genre of R&B. It was just music in general, even because it crossed mm-hmm. over and it did so well. Um, just talk about the impact of that song for your career. Um, that song was very instrumental in me attaining my publishing deal back in the day as well as my record deal. I had been uh, shopping for a record deal around the time that her song was released. Um, But once it came out and became successful, you know, it it added to the value of, of my name as an artist and songwriter. So... I was 19 when Baby was released, and uh, it was very unexpected for me. I just, I didn't expect it to be as successful as it has been. And I just remember that it was a lot of fun at that time to be involved with her record, to watch her be such a great talent at such a young age and to have contributed to such a classic and influential album. Um, it took me years before I got the the magnitude of the importance of that record and the fact that I was involved in one of her biggest songs of her career. Um, Because at the time, I was just, you know, walking around. I knew I had a song on her record, but, you know, I didn't make it that big of a deal. And um, so that, the success of that song helped me get my record deal. And it, put more of a spotlight on me as a songwriter and um, still does to this day. And it's funny because I was out last night eating with my friend Joy. And while we were in the spot, it was also, it's also a bar. So there's a jukebox and they were playing, they played baby twice while we were. (laughs) And it's just, it's always interesting to be present when, you're in an atmosphere where folks are just chilling and eating and vibing and drinking and enjoying a song that you contributed to and they have no idea that you're kind of sitting right there next to them. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's and pretty cool. It is. And um, I do enjoy the anonymity of that, though. Like, I'm not someone who needs everybody in the room to know I wrote that. Like, I'm good just sitting right there and observing it and feeling it and taking it in and knowing, being able to honor myself at the same time and say, yo, you you did that. You were part of that, you know, and allow that to uh, strengthen my view of myself and and my esteem and, and pat my shoulder. You know what I mean? 